Hey everybody, welcome to Ask a Best Selling Author. I'm your host, Dr. Angela, the author incubator. I'm joined today by best selling author, Dr. Rachel Talton. She is the author of Flourish. And Dr. Rachel, today we are going to talk about self doubt. How do you write your book when you're dealing with doubt about whether it's good enough, whether people will like it, whether you're the person to deliver the message? When issues of doubt come up for you, what's your advice for people on how to deal with that? You know, I'm going to actually answer that question backwards. So I'm going to, um, I love the way you phrased it, but I'm going to ask, I'm going to answer it um, based on the idea of confidence, mm. right? So, so we think of confidence, which is really an outcome of self-value and self-worth, right? We think of confidence as this thing that we want. Um, and so I started with confidence all fuzzy inside, scared to death, didn't know what, you know, the heck I was doing, um, and backed into self-worth and self-value. Mm. Do you understand? You see what I mean? And so, um, so I started with a, f with a facade of confidence and then built up my self-value by a couple of things. One, the science, that helps, right? That, that helps bolster. It's like, well, if I don't know the answer, then at least I can go to the literature. I also just told my story. You know, mm. when we went through this process, you asked me, who is, who is this client? Who is this woman? Let's talk about this woman that you want to help. What is she going through? What is she dealing with? So I knew that I could help her. I was her and I had helped her. And so that helped me to build true self-value and self-worth so that the confidence then became real. Um, it's, a, it's a really interesting, powerful concept, though, this notion of confidence and self-value and self-worth. I think you, you know, sometimes you have to back into it. So I faked it, faked it until I made it. Um, <laughs> others, right? You, know, you took my life. Yeah, That's yeah, what I was right, going to say. Right. Do a little bit of fake it until you yeah, make it. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, but, you, you know, you find the tools that you have. God has given all of us tools, right? So I had the science when I didn't really know the answer. I had my own story and I had my God job. And I knew that I could help women. Mm. So, um, so yeah, I, I got self-value out of doing the work and then producing a product that really helped people. Now, you've said something about Am I not the person that should write this book? You know, what, what if I'm not the right person? Um, that did come up for me. Mm. I was like, you know, Sheryl Sandberg has already written this book. Yeah. Right? Or, you know. So much better. And so <laughs> much better. And she's, you know, Sheryl Sandberg. Right. <laughs> right? Um, but it's a totally different message. Hers is a great book. It's a great book about how to lean in and how to how to manage your life at, at, at a high level. Mine is about how to flourish when you're not flourishing truly on the inside. And so there are these tiny little nuggets that you own and only you have. And that's that's where you you, you build on your self-worth. Mm. That's where you build on your self-value to get to confidence. Right. Real confidence. So if you're dealing with self-doubt, find the places where you're not. Find the places where you have confidence and build from there. Amazing advice from our guest today, Dr. Rachel Talton. Please tune in and join us for another episode of Ask a Best-Selling Author.